Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put some stickers uh, to your fingerboards. This stickers is going to show you where to put uh, your fingers correctly on the strings. So on the violin we have the four strings and in the western tuning it's, uh, the high is E and the second string the A, the third string is E and fourth string is G. So, but of course there are a, a big range of more tones to play on the violin all the way up and down the fingerboard here. So today we put the first three um, finger stickers on the violin and I, I'm going to show you how. For this purpose I use uh, some white sticker. This is a, um, a white sticker sheet I bought in a, a bookshop and uh, I cut some, uh, some pieces here, uh, not too wide, um, around around five millimeters or three millimeters wide. So, and I, I take one off here. And then the violin, I hold uh, to my knee against my knee to support the violin. And then I take the sticker, the sticker, and I just kind of slide it under the strings here and follow up the fingerboard until um, until I reach the first finger. Of course, here on this violin, I all already put some stickers, but uh, when you want to put the first sticker, uh, it should be a couple of um, centimeters from the saddle. This is the saddle. The saddle is lifting up the strings. Of course, this is a full-size violin, a grown-up violin, and the, the, uh, on smaller size violin, the distance will not be that far. First, the first uh, sticker uh, from the saddle. But also, you need to listen to find out is this the correct spot to put the finger, uh, to put the sticker, of course. Yeah. So again, I slide it under here, and imagine there's no no stickers on my violin yet. So now I keep the violin close. Uh, to my knee against my knee to support and holding with my two hands on the neck with the one hand I can slide the sticker up and down here so now I just try to put it somewhere uh, randomly actually yeah so I put it here not too tight then I want to hear now I, I use my A string to listen so the open A is like this so now I search the first finger and this is not quite correct so it must be a little higher it should see this sound right and the next string I check all the strings that it sounds right. So now I put it tight. I know it's correct now. So you uh, you need to recognize that little scale from open string to your third finger. It might help if you find a tune that is that is starting like this. Master Jekyll, yes, so Master Jekyll is fitting for um, the first finger and the second finger. So now I'm going to put the second finger. Again, I take, I take uh, one sticker and slide it under the string and slide it along with the fingerboard. So now I know there must be a little distance between the first finger uh, uh, sticker and the second finger sticker yes so i put it here now i put it randomly again now i should be able to uh, recognize that the beginning of master jekyll yes so i try 
It should say. So I see I, I put the sticker a little low. So 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 I must put it. Oh still it's too low, right? So again I put it a little up further up now. So just trying it out slowly. Now it should say like this. Yes, there it is. So of course now I can I can check the other strings. The same melodies on other strings, just higher or lower on the E it says. Yes, it sounds right. And on the D, it's lower. And on the G. And it sounds right. I, that means I put the sticker straight, uh, straight under the string. So of course, I, I if I put it a little crooked, I can hear that the the Master Jago tune there is a little bit out of pitch so i i put it straight and tightened it yeah so now for the third now for the third finger so <clears throat> the third finger should sound like this i take it uh, i like a little scale from the uh, open string a string and as you can see here, there is a little distance between the first and second finger and the second and third finger is very close together. So that's a little bit more easy perhaps to put the third finger sticker. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, here, uh, I, I just kind of slide my third finger softly down the second finger. That is the sound. So again, now I know the sound. I try to remember that inside my head. So I slide the sticker under the string again, up along the fingerboard, put the violin to the knee supporting it well and not to drop and always put both hands here against the neck or shoulder of violin, yes? While you just sliding it up and now I put it where I think it's correct not tightening it yet and yet but just there so I need to check it out yeah this is a little too low I should it should sound like this Again, supporting the violin against the knee and sliding the finger sticker a little further from the second finger. So now, checking. Yeah. And if I take, um, if I do like kind of scale I go to the next string it says so uh, it fits with the, the sound fits with the next string so also I can do like this to check with the lower string So they fit together so now I know it's correct and again of course if you uh, uh, you can uh, fit this uh, scale with a little song you know then it's uh, much easier to put the stickers on and now there are the three of them 
I, I do not put the fourth finger yet because first on the violin I like to uh, train the three fingers. They are strong fingers. The little finger is very thin and not as strong. So uh, it needs support from the other three fingers. So that's why first we train the three first fingers. One, two, three. So, um, and, and then later we uh, put the fourth finger sticker there. And also uh, this, these stickers we don't play with uh, all our life, rest of our life. Of course, we'll, uh, we will take them off um, when we don't need them anymore. But the reason uh, for putting these stickers is, I'll, um, is that I find it very important that first time we put our finger to the fingerboards, it will be the correct spot and that we, uh, with our eyes, we can check out that we are in the correct um, spot on the fingerboard. Uh, because if we, if uh, imagine we have no stickers here, the fingers is having kind of a difficult time to know where to jump down on the, uh, on the string. So um, that, that means that we might end up risking that our fingers is trying to search the, the tone that we need, searching on the, on the string, sliding up and down. And that is actually not very good um, to teach our fingers to slide. We need to teach our fingers to go down directly in pitch. So uh, this way with the finger stickers, we can check it out with our eyes. And there are all also uh, they are also uh, very good to have uh, as a helper uh, during other practice uh, exercises. So um, those I will show you as we come along. But now um, you should have uh, you should be able to uh, put your stickers, three finger stickers, on your violin. So I can just check out with my bow also, so you can hear the sound. I take the A string first, and from open string it sounds like this and the same little melody on the other strings of course but uh, lower or higher on the E string it will be higher The sound of the E string, the three fingers, and the D. to check out if you put the uh, stickers correctly and, and when you check it out yourself then put your violin here a little like a small guitar and just uh, uh, do the pizzicato the pitch here on string uh, to check it out yeah it's more easy for a start so next time I see you then I will show you something about how to put your fingers down uh, on the string and a little more, of course, about the violent posture.